84th story from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones written by Paul Reps. This is 1290th day non-stop which we are trying to load it up. True friends. But the listener felt sick and died. Person who is listening will die because there is, they are not putting, they are listening from somebody else. They were not listening from their subconscious, from your heart. It has such a beautiful body. The, the nature has provided, the God has provided, which you can't even put a price for it. It is priceless. And from that body, if you cannot listen, you listen from another person, or you listen from your teacher, you die. And the teacher also dies when she keeps non-stop talking. I was an example. I was a very good fighter before I entered into martial arts. I can beat anybody in the street <laughs> before they could think I'll beat them up. Yes. When I entered into martial arts, there was a lot of rules and regulations. Yes. And I, I was, then I started teaching. When I become a student, I started teaching. When I started teaching, I made sure that I made my students to beat me up. So I can take a lot of punishment. So when I went for an international tournament, my mind was like that. that I take the punishment, I forgot to attack. I forgot to see the captor attack because I was already dead. By teaching, a teacher dies, the student dies. Yes. They listen, okay, but they must go back. Hence, I was trying to tell them, look, the listener, the, but the listener fell sick and died. Yes, the children, when they go back home, it is homework. I said, slap the father and mother if they demand homework for the children. Slap the father and mother if they send the children for tuitions. The major part of the time they are in the school. If the schools cannot teach them, love them, make them melt with that question. Just if the huge big volume of book can be converted into small pen drive, and then you again send the books back to the house. Wrong. At home, when you come home, the listener, the listener is a student, the listener is the employee, and they come back home, leave the slippers and your mind outside, and then you make love in your house, practical, whatever you have understood from the school, from the, from the speaker, you come back home, the listener makes it practical, then you don't die. Here, they both, one was playing the harp and they listen when the person who was listening about the water he was able to explain about water understand the water he could see the water but what's the use when you don't have rainwater harvesting yes we're talking about the mountain when the person who played the harp about the mountain he could feel it's a mountain he could see the mountain right in the front but if you can see the mountain if you see the mountain of problems in front of you and if you do not know to solve it if you don't find an answer for it if you don't do warming up exercise and stretching exercise then what's the use of that listening you are dying hence i was telling all the yogis in india go to the himalayas and do dhyana means they all ran to the Himalayas thinking Dhyana is not sitting in her folded legs. Dhyana means empty it up your whole body again. Fresh water when you take, when you remove the water from the well, fresh water, fresh energy rush up the mountains of problems in your village, in your cities in your market. Solve it here. Don't solve it. When you do it, Karma Yuga, when you are a Karma Yuga, Problem solves of its own. But your participation to roar like a thousand men warrior is very important. First friend cut the strings of his harp and never played again. Immediately the first friend, the speaker, cut the strings because there is nobody to listen. When there is nobody to listen, for the first time he became a dhyani, a meditator. He started looking into him like the Ramana Maharshi Ask, who am I? Jesus Christ said, knock and the door shall be open. Bhopali said, Stand up for your get up, stand up, stand up for us. So maybe we're gonna sit, awake, arise. First time, you don't have to set it up, you felt it. So he cut the harp and never played again. He never played, it was a different instrument. It was never another book. You don't have to open a book to give an answer. You don't have to study and go for an interview. When you go and see the interview, you are in love with the interview. Why are you frightened of an examination? When you're afraid of the examination, the fear kills. 
you. But the listener fell sick and died. The first friend cut the strings of his harp and never played again. Since that time, cutting of the harp strings have always been a sign of intimate friendship. The moment the friend cut the harp and never played for another place, it means you never try to impress another person because you have your body itself is impressive for others. Why should you impress? Once you know how to take care of your body, understand the value, the body shines. Who are you to impress? When you go to impress, you put powder, lipstick, you wear beautiful shirt and pants. I'm not telling all those are very bad, but inside your body, you don't have a six pack, a skeletal muscle. When the skeletal muscle is less, you find the sexual organs is weak, you cannot shoot. Yes. And when you shoot, the other side also got a big stomach, they cannot receive. And both are finding some way to find a Viagra tablet. Again, a materialistic thing from outside for somebody to lecture you and for you to listen and both keeps dying a slow painful death hence there is a poverty there's a psychological problems in the society come out of that and once the cutting a half scene always been a sign of intimate friendship then this friendship is not which you believe the the song which is coming from hindi is not good i like only the kannada songs any music any wind is not Hindi or Kannada, it's wind is wind. Any sunlight, it is, doesn't have a um, religion or a caste, no Hindu Muslim. It is just a sunlight. You allow it to penetrate by opening your shirt and sweating. In that sweat, you find oh, all your pain in the body is gone. <laughs> and you are a beautiful slave. True friends. A long time ago in China, there were two friends. One who played the harp skillfully and one who listened skillfully. When the one played or sang about a mountain, the other would say, I can see the mountain before us. When the one played about water, the listener would exclaim, here is the running stream. But the listener fell sick and died. The first friend cut the strings of his harp and never played again. Since that time, the cutting of half strings have always been a sign of intimate. Thank you.